Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. This time I'm playing Leon's A scenario. Alright, oh you know what, I can skip this first cutscene, since it's the same thing we already saw in Claire's A scenario. Zombie face there. I'm gonna let this part play because the end of this cutscene is slightly different. Okay, well, at least you use your turn signal, I think. Alright. Man, no eat crisps while cinematic. What have we got here? A dead person. Man, shut up while camera pans in. All right, we all know what happens here. <sighs> Man, no slurp while truck drive. <coughs> Man, shut up while zombie go. Uh. Behind you. What was that? Uh, what? Man! Shut up while Leon attacked by zombies. Alright, that's far enough. Don't move! Don't move. Uh, man! No burp while Leon get almost eaten. That doesn't matter if it's a zombie. Wait! Don't shoot! Wow, she has really quick reflexes. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Alright. You know, Leon, you didn't park your Jeep properly. You didn't even put on your emergency lights. You know, if you were a real cop, you'd be saying, like, this is illegal, you know. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went insane. Great. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. In case you're wondering, yes, I have seen this too many times. Man, shut up, all sign fall. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Leon Twin! Man, shut up, all zombie come from backseat. See, this time the car spins around. That's the only thing that's different. Well, this part's a little slightly different since it's turned around. Still in one piece. <laughs> Ironic, since this maniac was complaining about a maniac a few moments ago. Poetic justice? Ah, uh, fiery poetic justice. I guess. Alright, since I skipped the first part, I can probably keep going with this as the first video, so I won't have just the cinematic during which I talk. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. I still think that should be inescapable. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Equip the knife because it looks more badass. To run around with a knife. There we go. I did a practice run of this yesterday, and I also tried recording this a few minutes ago, and then the emulator glitched. I was greatly pissed. Freeze! It's Morshu. Boy, what are you doing here? Mm. 
Hold your fire! I'm a human! Calm down, calm down. Don't call me babe. Sorry about that. Okay, we're off to an okay start. I thought you were one of them. Well, I'm not. Thank you very much. What's going on in this town? Hold on. Don't call me darling either. I just don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. But you should be safe inside here. Um... I'm keeping a close eye on things. You're not keeping a close eye on that window. OMFG! You noob! You totally missed those bullet boxes! GTFO, noob! You're such a noob for forgetting those bullet boxes, Mr. ASDF. Alright, I will equip the handgun for this. Okay, this part sucks. I hate this part. Yeah, these guys, they block up this gate like a toilet. And then the one will either camp out so you can't get past him, or he'll knock down one of them, and then the other, will, the second one will take forever to knock down, and then the first one gets up, and then you have to keep fighting him. All right, whatever. There we go. Yeah, climb on the top of the dumpster. That's placed conveniently here. Wow. Whoa. You spin zombies right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Enjoy your meal, fellows. Don't mind me. Missed. Seven bullets. Okay. No, no, no. Keep it equipped. Okay. I have five rounds left, that's nice. Now, um... Oh, let me equip the knife. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, I'm you noob, you missed the bullets. I'm missing the bullets on purpose because, remember, I have to reach to the police station without getting... Screw you. To be able to make it past him. Without getting items. And since I reached to the police station without getting items, that means I can get the special key. There's still a little more work involved in getting it. Uh, I could go get it right now, but... I don't have enough bullets to pull it off quickly, so I'll wait until I get more bullets. There we go. Alright, I should use the first green herb I find as well. I know where a bunch are. See, look, doesn't it look cool when I have the knife for these things? And yeah, that part, I would have taken that hit whether I had the knife or the handgun equipped. It's Marvin Brown or whatever his name is. Who, who are you? Uh oh, you must be the new guy, Leon. That's right. Sorry, <laughs> but it looks like your party has been canceled. <laughs> what happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. Le gas. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. That's unfortunate. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Should have listened, eh? Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Do I have to? Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go! Click. Just go! Fine. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. These guys say just more than I do. Why I gotta lock the door? I mean, I don't think any zombies, apart from the left-handed guy in the mansion, 
know how to open a doorknob. Yep, I'll use it. Yeah, I'll use the card key. Okay, good. Those are unlocked. Alright, now... Let's get out here. Alright, good, good, go. Yeah, yeah, go out. Okay, I should get the handgun equipped. There we go. Perfect. Now we need to go over here. Down the stairs. 